Hey there, AI enthusiasts. It's your host, Babs, and today we've got a juicy lineup of AI news for you. From privacy concerns to the impact on elections and top AI companies, we've got it all. So stay tuned because we've got the latest scoop coming up. As we approach the end of another dynamic year in privacy, companies should consider proactively reviewing their privacy programs to account for upcoming trends in privacy litigation, regulation, and enforcement. Claims for privacy violations of statutes based on use of internet technologies are expected to increase in 2024. State legislatures have enacted comprehensive privacy legislation at the state level, filling the regulatory void in the absence of a national framework. Companies should take an adaptive yet proactive approach to their privacy programs to comply with state privacy laws. Prompt enforcement of CCPA regulations and health privacy enforcement by the FTC highlight the need for companies to prepare and ensure robust privacy and security programs. Increased AI regulation is likely in 2024, and companies should develop clear governance policies to address privacy concerns. Regulation at the state and federal levels is anticipated. The rapid rise of artificial intelligence, AI, is raising concerns about its impact on the 2024 election. AI could fuel misinformation, generate misleading information for voters, and create deepfake videos. Polls show that Americans are increasingly worried about AI's potential to spread false information and impact the outcome of the presidential race. Tech companies and government officials are considering regulations on AI, but lawmakers are struggling to keep up with its developments. While AI has the potential for good, such as informing the public and helping election officials, experts warn that it could worsen problems of disinformation and micro-targeting. Mitigation strategies and awareness of AI's risks are important, as well as pre-bunking from election officials and the adoption of digital signatures to indicate authoritative sources. The advantages of pre-bunking include crafting effective counter-messaging and getting authoritative information to voters in advance of the election. Overall, the impact of AI on the election information ecosystem is a significant concern. Artificial intelligence companies are experiencing hyper-accelerated growth with investments in machine learning, automation, robotics, and generative AI. The list includes AI giants like Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, Google, IBM, NVIDIA, Baidu, Oracle, and Alibaba. These companies are reshaping technology in various industries, but the future influence of AI remains unpredictable. The article also highlights AI pioneers like OpenAI, C3AI, H2O.AI, DataRobot, and Snowflake, who are inventing and supporting the systems that propel AI forward. The debate centers around whether these pioneers or the giant cloud vendors will have the most control over the future of AI. With the widespread emergence of OpenAI's large language model-based ChatGPT platform in late 2022, a considerable amount of public attention and private capital have been showered on generative artificial intelligence over the past year. The technology has spawned no end of human speculation about AI's potential, including around the provenance of its various verbal and visual outputs. Exchanges with AI-powered language models have become common on social media, and it is easy enough to ask AI and get a plausible-sounding answer about anything, even AI. The article discusses the need for regulators to adopt a nuanced approach to AI regulation, particularly in areas such as intellectual property and diverse applications. It emphasizes the importance of balancing innovation and regulation to maximize the potential of AI while addressing specific harms. The article also mentions an ebook produced by CPI, a PYMN's company, that highlights the regulatory landscape of generative AI in 2023. On a different topic, the article mentions the use of overdrafts as a working capital solution for U.S. middle market companies. It states that 14% of middle market firms plan to use overdrafts from corporate bank accounts to improve their cash flow management, making it the third most recurrent working capital solution. The article provides insights from a PYMN's intelligence research study on the working capital solutions available to growth corporates in the North America region with a focus on different sectors and regions. And that's a wrap for today's AI News Roundup. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, if you ever feel like your brain needs an upgrade, 
Just remember that even the most advanced AI still struggles to understand why humans say heads up when they really just want you to duck. Until next time, stay curious and keep on learning. I'll see you in the next upload.